Hi everyone, so I haven't done a video in a long time. I got a real job, kind of. And um, basically I've had stress due to my job. My dad actually found a newspaper article and apparently the career path I chose is one of the top five stressful jobs to have. So um, I love what I do, but unfortunately it is stressful and I've been noticing the last few weeks, basically since Thanksgiving, I wake up and I have, or I get in the shower, and after the shower, I have this rash that comes on my shoulders and my neck and my chest area, and it lasts for about 30 minutes. It's bright red and irritating and itchy, and um, it's quite aggravating to have, especially when you're trying to get ready for the day. I had an appointment at the dermatologist. I um, described my symptoms because what happens is the rash fades about 30 minutes after the shower, so I can't show the redness and everything. Basically, um, he said there could be three things causing it. It could be like a water allergy, which is a little strange, um, but I don't know, the water really does make it worse. I don't know, it could be something in the water like the harsh chemicals <clears throat> that the tap water has. Um, so I got a water filter from my shower that is helping a little bit. And then it could also be like a fungal thing um, or eczema, which I think it is more of eczema because I had eczema when I was younger. Knowing that I had previously had eczema, I think it is more along the lines of that, and ironically, my sister started developing a similar rash just on her neck only, but it happened about a week after mine, and it was very ironic. I'm like, wow, that's the exact same rash that I have, and she's like, yeah, is it itchy, and blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, it is, so it might be something genetic, who knows, it's kind of a mystery, but anyway, um, she suggested I do a little video about what we've been sharing our tips and um, about how to control it. So basically this video is for eczema related, sensitive skin issues, dry, itchy, flaky skin, um, and how to maintain it because like when I had eczema when I was younger, it was there for a really long time, like probably almost a year. It would come and go, but it was ongoing. And So if you have a condition like eczema or dermatitis, those kind of things, like they do not just disappear. I mean, if you're lucky, but they pretty much stick around and you have to I mean, learn how to deal with it. So these are the products that I've been using um, since and the ones that I found helpful and also like different types of supplements and oils that I've been trying out and the ones that have worked for me. So let me start first with the oils. Um, the one that's been the most beneficial is this almond oil. It's off of Amazon and I got a pretty good price on it. That bottle is completely empty. So it was 16 fluid ounces. I think it was under $20 and it lasted me forever. I mean, I just started using it because more often because of this, but it was already down to like probably a third of the way down. And I've, in the last three weeks, it's gone now, but. I would liberally put this all over the affected areas after the shower and it totally relieved the itchiness and just moisturized all of that flaky dryness and definitely was the top thing that has been working. So my sister had a good tip. Um, she says, well, you know, since the water is obviously not helping the situation before you get in the shower, try putting oil on and that way it kind of protects gives a barrier to the harsh like chlorine and things that are in the water while you're showering. <clears throat> so the almond oil can be kind of expensive to do that to just rinse it all off you know. So the one that I found is quite inexpensive to do this maybe to try doing that with is the vitamin E oil from Trader Joe's. It's a small little bottle but it's under four dollars and you don't need that much so I think this would be a good one to try to at least coat the areas before you get in the shower so at least 
the water is not drying and irritating the eczema or whatever skin condition you have. So I thought that was a really great tip. So moving on from oils, um, probably the most important next to oils are equally as important are internally what you're putting inside your body to help the inflammation and the dryness. So first thing that comes to mind would be oils. So definitely a staple should be taken every day anyway would be fish oil. And I just cannot swallow the big pills. If they're this, more of the size of like a pinto bean, then they're not going down my throat. They're pretty much going the other direction. So I found these great little mini fish oils. And they are a great little tiny size. And they still have... 1290 milligrams of fish oil so it's pretty good for the size of it and I take this in the morning um, almost like an insurance policy you know just it can't do any harm so try to get the inflammation reduced right in the morning with your breakfast and then at night I'll do um, evening primrose, primrose oil which I've noticed that this is helping my eczema. It is definitely has some property in it that is reducing the redness and inflammation when I don't take it, when I forget. I notice that I'll start getting red again. And when I am taking it, it goes down. So I know this does something really good for women, balances um, certain hormones, and eczema is hormone related. I believe I've read that somewhere. So this is probably not only doing anti-inflammation, but it is also doing something to regulate um, the condition internally. And the third thing that I take um, is also something that everyone should probably take every day, which is a probiotic. And this just pretty much helps your body fight anything that's going on, um, you know, anything that's not balanced. So my stomach's pretty sensitive to probiotics. Like I've taken a few that are, you know, the larger amounts with all the strains in them that are highly recommended that are pretty expensive. And I get like the worst cramping and just awful, you know, tight, gassy feeling in my abdominal area. And this is the only one that really I don't even notice after I take it. It's like a baby one. It only has... 100 million organisms and it's only one strain, it's the Lactobacillus acidophilus. So it's not, you know, the multi-strain, it's not 30 billion, but this one I can tolerate. So at least I know I'm doing something and if you're sensitive also like me, you know, just make sure you have daily yogurt um, if you don't want to take any supplement. So herbal supplement that I've been taking for this are trying to do teas. So what I found um, online that's really good for eczema is a red clover. And it's an herb, so it's caffeine free. And I don't have red clover tea by itself, but I do have this um, combination called Get Clean. It's Republic of Tea. I got mine at Whole Foods. You can get them online too. They're not the cheapest, but this is like a detoxifying um, tea so they have a bunch of different herbs in it like um, milk thistle, dandelion, burdock root and then red clover too. So it's like a detox tea but it has the red clover in it. If you take this not even every day but maybe once a week just to make sure you're cleansing everything out. So the other tea that I drink almost daily is basically something that is a staple I love this tea. It is my favorite tasting tea ever. It's spearmint tea. It's herbal. Spearmint tea is great to regulate um, hormone. Like for female, it gets rid of like male hormones and other things. Like if you're acne prone like I am, you just make sure that you take different types of herbs and things just to get the stress levels down and get your skin all cleared up. So. Spearmint's great too for skin properties, just all around health of your skin. And I just love how it tastes. So if you're prone to stress like me and you're a female, highly recommend spearmint tea if you have any type of skin issue. Um, I drink this couple bags like almost every single evening. 
the last thing would be what to use um, while you're washing your body in the shower. So at first when I started getting these rashes, I thought it was my body wash and I immediately got rid of it as this cheap Moroccan body wash. It was like $2, so I thought maybe there's something in there. But um, I don't think it was the body wash, but it's something a little more than that. However, I switched it out anyway, and I'm using Avino Baby. It is amazing. It's totally gentle. It's so soothing. I can almost feel my rash and redness just going down as this is being applied. I just love this. It is for babies, but I don't care. I mean, they're putting all the good stuff in here for the babies, so I'm going to use it. And it's just amazing. It smells great. It's not scented, but it's just the natural way that it smells is just really pleasing. And I'm noticing a huge difference when I use this. So the Aveeno Skin Body Lotion is just really nice for everyday use for irritated skin. It's just something that I highly recommend. It is so therapeutic even though it's light and doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It's just non-irritating and just coating and protecting your skin after the shower. So I don't wait long after my shower to put this on. I mean, I feel it instantly that I need to put on this lotion. And once I do, I'm glad I did. So for the days when I really need something more, I'm just like itchy, 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 and there's no relief in sight, I try hydrocortisone cream just from like the pharmacy 1%, and I put it on the areas that are getting red and irritated because sometimes you know, even though most of the time it's not red, they can get red throughout the day. And if I notice it flaring up again, I'll put the hydrocortisone. And I've also found this helpful. This is the eczema therapy from Avino. I bought the hand cream size because it's really expensive to buy the full bottle. It's like $20. And I had already bought the full size Avino lotion. And so I didn't want to spend like $100 on lotion at Target. So I got the little tiny hand cream. And this is really good for the spots that are definitely scaly and red and itchy. This is not to be used all over the body. I mean, I'm sure you could, but it's meant to just be used only in the areas that are really irritated. It has the colloidal oatmeal in it, and that's what's calming down your skin. So I hope anyone that's suffering from eczema or dermatitis um, or any type of skin inflammation, redness, itchiness, especially during the dry winter months, um, found anything useful in this video. And if you have any foolproof methods that you find super useful, then I would love to know about them. I'm still searching for that miracle that will just make all of my itchy red skin just go away. So I don't have to worry that I'm wearing all cotton or anything like that. And even getting in the shower sometimes gives me anxiety because that's when all the redness happens is out of the shower. So if anyone knows any tips that could get rid of this condition, I would vastly appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great holiday and I'll see you later.